Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove from the history uh, files with the sensitive information. Accidentally, sometimes we could push uh, files which contain our usernames and passwords in GitHub. And even if we remove them, uh, they stay in the history. So we want to remove them from the entire history so nobody can see them. Uh, I will pretend that the file HT access actually contains uh, sensitive information even though it doesn't right now but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna remove it from the entire history so let's look at for this file in the github this is my account this is the project FMI and in public I don't want to have a file called dot HT access let's look at in the in the last revision we don't have this file but let's look at in the history we'll find the file it's there so here we go this is my last commit if you look at in the last commit as I said we don't have this file here in the po folder public but if we look in uh, something else in another commit we could find it let's go uh, here for example look at again in the public folder and see the file here we go so if there is a username and password everybody will be able to see it I'm gonna show you how to remove this file from the entire history first thing to do is to start our portable git eventually if we use a portable git I'm using a portable so from my USB stick I'm gonna start from the portable apps my portable git I'm gonna start git bash bat this is the file which I'm gonna click on here we go so let's look at where we are let's see the files I want to c um, to clone my repository in projects so I'm gonna go to projects folder let's look at the projects here I have only two projects default and simple so I'm gonna clone my project right now from github let's me find the address here we go this is the address which I'm gonna use I'm gonna clone it now I'm gonna use git clone HTTPS github dot com wingman 007 fmi.get let me check again so first thing to do is first clone the repo I'm gonna save that as a slide uh, I'm gonna use second one clone I'm gonna call it clone because I'm gonna create a blog post as well by the way before I forget all these steps are very well described in the wonderful github help here at this URL I'm just following this example and creating a movie from this example so this is the original recipe on how to do these things step by step it's just wonderful block so I'm just following this this example and of course I'm using my git repository So let me make sure I didn't misspell something 
git clone https github com yeah I hope that's right okay cloning fmi okay so let's look at now the folders we have one more fmi with our project cloned so I'm gonna do change directory fmi ls minus ao and pwd to see where I am right now so my current directory is projects fmi where I should be. Now I want to show you something from another examples I want to show you how can you check for a certain files so the command is git show you use hat tilde zero and we look for public public HD access file so what we are doing here is where we want to see the content of the file HD access which is in a folder public in our project and we want to see that in the hat revision zero means the hat revision and after that I'm gonna show you one two three so the previous version is one the one before the previous is two and so on and so forth so let's see this and as you can see in the head we don't have such file because I have removed it but what about the history our sensitive information is there here we go if I say two for example revision two I still can see the file and I don't want that I don't want anybody to see this file which means that I have to remove it somehow uh, we can of course use git lock without any options to see all our revisions okay so this is another comment which can be helpful not too helpful in this example so now let's put the magic spell now as I said you can see this here at this URL description on how should be done I'm just doing this uh, with a concrete example my repository I'm gonna remove this file HD access because I don't need it and here it is the command which we are gonna use okay so I just copied this uh, this comment because I see it better here in the white so git filter minus branch minus minus force minus minus index index filter and we say here single quotation mark get remove cache it minus 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 ignore unmatched unmatch and here I have to put the path to my file which as I show it to you is public HD access quotation mark prune empty minus minus stack 
minus name filter cat minus 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 all let me make sure that everything is right so git filter branch force index filter now we start with a quotation mark git remove cache it minus ignore unmatch and the path to the folder to the file public HD access prune empty I'm in the root of the project and I'm typing the relative path to the file which I'm gonna remove I will try if I'm in the folder with the file which I wanna remove if that works in this case probably I uh, I don't have to type the relative path but uh, I haven't tried that so prune empty minus minus tag name filter cut minus 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 all so it's just incredible amount of uh, details which we have to know to get our job done so hopefully this is gonna remove this sensitive file from the entire history of my git repository let's try and see what happens it takes quite a lot of time so probably I'm gonna pause and show you when everything is done here we go it started it checks in a different uh, in different revisions my commits up to five I'm gonna pause and just show you the the last result I'm gonna got, get warnings when this file gets removed in a different uh, in a different commits revisions okay after after some minutes everything has been done for us I'm gonna extend this window to show you the messages as you can see from commit number 89 HT access has been removed from commit 89, 90, 91, 92 and so on and so forth uh, from the last commit he hasn't been, er, been removed because it didn't exist there I have removed it okay so now let's look at for this file again using the show command in git to make sure that it's not there anymore in the history if you remember in hat tilde 2 we had this file now the message shows us that the file doesn't exist anymore okay let me try in another commit number one for example it has been there it's not there anymore we can try for example in 10 it's not there okay we can try everywhere the file is not there anymore so the next thing to do is just make sure this file has been added to dot git ignore file so we don't accidentally commit it again let's look at in this folder what do we have here now let's go to public where the file was let's look at here the content of course uh, I have to add minus al to show all the files including the hidden files because dot git ignore is a hidden file in window in windows you very easy can create such file for example in the projects you go to fmi public and here you can uh, you can create this file just just to show you one trick it's there already I have done it 
electro V, V, uh, V I here. I'll say, oh, get. Let me try this this way. Here we go. I have done it here in the console. I have only one row which says dot ht access but I'm going to show you how can you create a file with the uh, leading dot in Windows. This is another trick. If you try to create such file in Windows with such name you always will get errors. For example, let's try like that. Test. See? You must type a file name. Okay, so the workaround in Windows is a little bit strange. You start a notepad and after that you say file save us. Let's go to this folder. This is a trick which I just want to share with you because uh, you may need to create such file so portable portable apps my portable git projects fmi public and here you can say for example dot test remove even the extension if I like and here we go we have the file I'll type something otherwise in the file says a system in the file explorer you won't be able to create such file I'm gonna remove this and I show it to you in the console that I have added already the file by the name dot ht access to the git ignore which means that uh, it's gonna be ignored when we try to push commit. Now we have to add this file so we'll say git add dot git ignore I have added already but just for the movie just for uh, this presentation I'm gonna do it again okay so the next thing to do is just commit commit and we'll say git ignore added now it's going to respond to it uh, probably with uh, nothing to commit because as I said I already did that I added the, this file uh, just for this demonstration I'm repeating the steps yes it said on branch master nothing to commit and final step is just to push whatever we have done the new uh, the new repository to github and we'll check there in github and make sure that our file HD access in the folder public is not there anymore in the history. So we'll say git push origin master just let me uh, let me make sure that minus minus force just for in the example to make sure that I typed everything properly yeah git push origin master force course you have to be the owner of this repository in github in order to be able to make push I'm gonna type my password now and we'll check after that in github okay 
So let's go to our GitHub and check now in public in one of the history commits. If you remember in the second one we didn't have uh, we had HD access. Let me refresh here just to make sure that yeah here. If in the commit we had only the file which we wanna remove, the entire commit will be removed. So from 123 commits, right now we have only 120. And in in all commits we won't find any more our sensitive file, which we said is a sensitive dot ht access here. In public, in this commit we don't have it. And let's go to another one. For example, this one. It's not there, as you can see. Let's go to another one. It's not there. For the folder public. In the first one, it's not there. Okay, mission completed. Thank you, thank you for your attention. See you next time.